Okay, so in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to use the Fenix 6X to track our swim, time our swim, time how many strokes of breaststroking I do, and get us back to exactly where we started. We will actually use the GPS to track back and you press the top right hand button first and that takes you into the GPS setting and then you need to find open water. You select open water. That then brings you onto your uh, GPS main page for tracking. Now you get a red line and then you will get a yellow line at the top. So in other words, red line means no GPS. The yellow, mean, the yellow line means that there is a partial GPS and then you get a green line which means that you have a GPS fix. So you can see there hopefully that it is green. Now I would recommend that you wait a minute or so just to make sure that it's got a really really good fix on your position. Before you hit start and it will track what you're doing. Now, the other thing that I recommend is that you put the interval for GPS tracking, put it on one second, because what I did discover in yesterday's swim is it will not, the GPS will not work underwater. So GPS only works when your watch is above water. Now, I will say, breaststroke, which is pretty much the only stroke that I can do, is not the, the best stroke for this. You're probably better off doing, you know, an overarm where, you, where your arm comes out of the water, you know, very regularly to get a really good fix. So we're using one second, hopefully that will give us, you know, a really good fix. So we're going to head out this way. What we will do is we'll head in that direction, then we'll go slightly to the right and then slightly to the left okay so we've set it to start here with the restaurant behind timer and distance lap time heart rate time a day map rolex explorer 2. so there you can see the time seven minutes 137 meters swum so far. There's a little map. So go to your main page on top left three lines, press, then press and connectors, and then press all activities, and then scroll down to the one that you need. 15th of November over to the Maldives and here you can see time 41 minutes distance 841 meters calories burnt 175 calories pace 4.52 you have a map of where you are swimming you can go into this information here which tells you your total strokes average stroke rate max stroke rate average pace, average moving pace, best pace, average speed, average moving speed, maximum speed, which I don't think is quite likely for swimming. And then there's lots of other, and then here you have your graphs with pace, minutes per 100 meters, average and best, strokes, average and best. I don't know again how accurate that is, heart rate average and maximum training effect and the uh, temperature and then down the bottom you have time in heart rate zones inside navigation long press middle left down to navigation down to back to start track back okay, well, you can see it says of course, you need to go to the right, and we are 160 meters. 
To get a GPS fix, you have to have the watch on the surface or above the surface of the water. You cannot get a fix underwater. The blue arrow very accurately gives you your direction of travel. When the watch goes back underwater, the arrow will stay blue briefly, the fix is lost and then the arrow turns black for no signal underwater. Lift the watch above the water to get another GPS fix. Here it is telling you how far off course you are and how far you have to travel. A quick lift above the surface shows us we are now just 30 meters off course and 20 meters to our destination. The blue arrow once again pointing in the correct direction. Distance and timers plus compass arrow red left. Timer and distance swan. Heart rate zone, heart rate. Pressure on the recovery time. Oh, distance swan. Hey, I'd love to see you guys down in the comments section. Pop a comment down there, like and subscribe if you found this video helpful and informative. I look forward to reading what you put and replying to you and trying to answer any questions that you have. Let's dive back into the video. Look at the little red arrow, top left hand side. When you're out on the open water, you might find that you can set it for a direct route back to where you started without the off course setting. Middle left, activities, top right. This is what's in your main section. Then you can add, and you can add from this list. So I obviously added open water. But if you wanted to add a bike, you could top right. Says his favourite, no. And then you can move it up and down your list to how you want it. I'll see you in the next one.